This has taken place in Chasada province. Now, this is an area that borders the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. It's an area that is a known hideout for militants, Taliban, Al-Qaeda-linked militants. We understand that this attack took place where recruits were wrapping up a nine-month program. They were leaving today at the end of that program. This attack happened in the early hours of the morning. We're hearing there was one suicide attack and another blast, trying to confirm exactly what the source of that other blast was. You say there are about 70 people so far we've heard from police have been killed at least 65 of those were military recruits themselves now there are also scores of others who've been taken to hospital with injuries we've been monitoring these events looking at the images coming in from that area you're seeing widespread destruction cars that have been that have been destroyed houses that are, and, and buildings that have been destroyed people wailing over the dead bodies as they've been taken into hospital and of course the ambulances ferrying the injured as well. It once again goes to the potency of the militancy in that area. There have been uh, attempts by the government and the military in Pakistan to try to root out the militants and there's been an ongoing operation throughout that area and yet the militants have been able to strike like this. They've done this in the past. This is the biggest such attack this year and certainly significant coming of course after the death of Osama bin Laden. Things have been very tense here. It's been on a heightened sense of alert. We don't have any confirmation yet or any, any uh, claim of responsibility for this attack or any confirmation of any link to bin Laden in retaliation for his death but certainly Certainly a major attack here, a major uh, uh, attack at killing military officers or certainly military recruits who've get graduated from this training program. 70 people dead, as I say, 65 of those, the military recruits.